Good morning and welcome to the LSU Aquaculture Research Station for Tip Tuesday. I'm Dr. Chris Mudge with the LSU Ag Center and the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center. Oftentimes I get calls about, hey, what's a foliar spray? How do we treat weeds? What's a subsurface application, in-water injection, etc. So today I'm going to try to give you a few tips about that. What we have here is a standard uh, handgun that's used to spray aquatic herbicides and I have a CO2 backpack sprayer. This is used in small scale research demonstration to simulate what's going on off of an airboat. Okay, so we have water hyacinth and this is a nice full healthy stand of material and this would be our target plant. Something that we want to control because it's highly invasive and as you can see it's taken over the whole tank. In other words the whole water body will be infested. I've got water in here. No herbicide and just spraying the water to give you a demonstration of what's going on. So I'm coating the leaves. This is a foliar application treating the foliage. You can do it like that or you can back up if you're in a further back situation and use a straight stream and target the weeds in the same way. You're only going to put enough herbicide according to what the label says and just to reach the maximum doses what you need and that way you coat the plants and you're done. So now we're at a tank that has hydrilla in it and this is a submersed aquatic weed so we don't have those big leaves above the surface so we can't target it that way. We're going to do a subsurface or in-water injection use the same equipment where we're going to just spray the water and create a concentration to try to make the herbicide reach the, the amount desired. Okay. Now, as I said before, this is a handgun. This is what applicators use. But in the case of a homeowner, what you can do is get a three gallon backpack sprayer, a little hand sprayer, and do the same thing. Whether you're spraying the foliage of the water hyacinth or you're treating the hydrilla, you're just gonna go around. Sometimes we have other specialized equipment on helicopters and airboats that are not handguns, but it's nozzles and spray booms mounted off the side. And that's how we control. Using aquatic herbicides is just one form of management. We also have integrated pest management, which uses biocontrol, herbicides, mechanical harvesters, hand removers. So this one way that we can approach undesirable species that impact our wildlife and our fisheries, and yet keep everything that we want there without harming the environment. For more information, please visit the LSU Ag Center or the Aquatic Plant Control Research Program's websites.